Well, I'm joined by Tammy at the Krasil Art Center here in St. Joseph, Michigan, and I have to tell you, it is world class. I, I know you probably hear this all the time, but I bet people come in and say, I cannot believe this is it here. It happens, it's true, it's they do. It's unbelievable. It's a wonderful organization, wonderful place so in our give community. give me a little history, tell me about where it all started. Well, really, if we go way, way back, it started in 1962 with a clothesline art fair by a group of local artists. They went out on the bluff overlooking Lake Michigan, which is beautiful. Yeah. They tied clotheslines from tree to tree, and they hung paintings from them and sold them to the community. That was our first art fair, it was in 1962. That group of artists went on to start the St. Joseph Art Association, which ultimately became the Krasil Art Center. So in the late 70s, George Krasil left an endowment to start an art center in honor of his wife, Olga Krasil. She lived until 1998, and she was part of our, our center growing up. We opened our doors in 1980. And was she an artist? She is an artist, oh, yes. so cool. Yeah, yeah, she's a wonderful, uh, she did a lot of flower paintings, um, landscapes, wonderful, very prolific artist. So, from kind of humble beginnings, mm -hmm. you have this world-class facility we and do. amazing things. I remember coming here uh, and seeing a Chihuly. Uh, yes. Yes, right? Yes, which is still in our entryway. Okay. When you I walk thought, in, yes. you'll see a beautiful Chihuly that was created specifically for that site. My goodness. Isn't that I great? Mean, that's amazing. <laughs> it is. Uh, that, that you have that here and it's within reach for all of our, the, our friends at home. Yes. You know, this is a not even a, a whole day trip for anybody that's in our viewing right. region and so to be able to have this at our fingertips is amazing so talk to me about the reach of the Krasil Art Center in the artistic community in the artistic community well it's really interesting so we are an art center and we are an art museum so we have gallery spaces that people can come and see exhibitions. Our philosophy is that we bring in art that people would have to normally drive to New York or you know, travel far away to see. We bring it here for the community. So we have exhibitions going on in our galleries throughout the year. Um, and then we also have a really large offering of studio art programs. So the, the upstairs and the lower level of the art center are all classroom spaces. We have a really active ceramic studio, really active sculpture classes, jewelry classes. Those all take place on the lower level. Those are for ages, I always say ages 4 to 104 because we've that. literally had all those ages in our classrooms at various times. And then upstairs we do um, studio classes, drawing, painting, watercolors, acrylic, oil, um, any type of art form. We do digital photography classes, so a wide variety of classes. Those are open to people in the region, so There's we have people. Really. There really is daytime, evening, weekend opportunities. Well, underneath all of the exhibits at Krasil Art Center is really where a lot of the work happens. Classes for individuals throughout our region. This is a really unique experience to create something and also experience art. So let's talk a little bit about some of those class offerings and why this is such a unique experience for people to take classes right here. Yeah, we have a fantastic um, space with lots of different artist studios here at Krasil. We're standing in the ceramic studio, which is probably the most active space. Um, so children starting at age five can work in here, and they start with pinch pots, and they work their way up to really advanced work. Um, and there's a lot of advanced adult artists who work in here too. We have a clay artist guild, so those are people who, if they've taken a few classes and they've built up some skills, they can just use the studio whenever it's available. Um, but that's the ceramic studio, and then upstairs we have drawing and painting studios. We have a digital photography class that we teach in our library. We can do some animations on uh, iPads. So it's, there's a lot to offer here. Yeah. There is a lot to offer. What do you feel some of the highlights are from the students that might not have the opportunity to take such a unique class anywhere else? Yeah, well, this is definitely one of them. You know, even, even high schools that have a ceramics department usually have a wheel or two, but they don't have all of this equipment. So it's a really great um, ceramic space here. We do have uh, an enameling class with a really great jewelry artist, Vicki Cook, um, and she's just returning after being gone for a while. And then our, our drawing and painting teachers are really strong as well. But in addition to kind of our regular classes that we offer, you know, three times a year, we've got three trimesters. Mm -hmm. um, we also bring in visiting artist workshops. So those are people who aren't maybe so local and might have, be really specialized in a certain medium. So like you saw upstairs in our main galleries, Justin Rothschank has a beautiful, um, large-scale ceramic installation of dinner plates. 
He's teaching, uh, he's, he's an Indiana artist, but he's coming to teach a Saturday workshop on November 12th, which is all about how he transfers those image decals onto ceramics pieces, so that'll be really great. And you can do that as a beginner artist, or if you have a lot of ceramics experience, you can sign up for that workshop. So those kinds of artists we try to bring in a few times a year as well. An absolutely incredible experience to work with someone who's had their art displayed worldwide and oh, work yeah. with them uh, in such a hands-on way. And you talked about ages five all the way to that elite skill level. Well, what if you have the skill set of someone who is five, but you are not five? I mean, a beginner. Do you have some of those classes available for adults thinking that this might be something they knew that they would like to try, but have no previous experience? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. We have any class that starts with the title Introduction To is uh, you know, built for absolute beginners. And all of our teachers are, are really good at breaking down you know, a complex skill and kind of going step by step and, and really building your confidence that way. A lot of one-on-one, -on -one world-renowned artists right here for you to be able to experience. What a treat to be able to take a class right here at Kresel Art Center. And you know, one of the things that you can't help but notice when you visit St. Joseph, Michigan, is that the the artistic community is alive and vibrant and really kind of seen in every nook and cranny. It As is, you go into absolutely. these local stores, you see, oh, what, what is that? Oh, that's from a local artist. Right. And really, you know, you can kind of trace that all back to that clothesline. And you know, public art is really important, and I don't know that people understand how important it is, mm -hmm. um, but it's, you know, it just makes the community more beautiful, whole, Absolutely. Uh, a, a destination. Absolutely. So, you know, art for the sake of art is not just that. We mm -hmm. have lots of roles that artists play in our community, and St. Joe is a great example of that. Artists have grown up and built a community that they can be very proud of, and the Krasil Art Center is right in the heart of it. You're going to want to check it out.